Welcome to our California dive series, Dropping In, diving the hot spots in California waters. Today's show takes us aboard the dive boat Magician on our way to Catalina Island's two harbors. A great spot to make three incredible dives. Today we're headed out to Bird Rock, Let's see what the conditions are like there. It's a uh, rock just off the isthmus of Catalina Island. Uh, nice reef area, it's got uh, some pretty spectacular drop-offs and shallow areas as well. Uh, we've been having a real big sea lion population there. They've been hauling out on the, on the rock there and it's been making for some pretty uh, interesting diving. Divers begin gearing up as the magician approaches our first drop in spot, Seafan Grotto. Bob Newberry of Dive and Photo briefs the divers before jumping in. But don't try and keep up with the group. You'll drive yourself nuts. I'll keep track of, I'll kind of be standing back because the way I can die, I can be is looking this way, you guys can't go anywhere, okay? So if there's an emergency or anything, rely on your buddy, not the group as a whole. Seafan Grotto is a nice, easy dive, dropping into a depth anywhere from 25 to 70 feet. One of the unique features of this dive site is the gardens of sea fans and easy to enter underwater caverns and crevices. More advanced divers can venture deeper into the cavern if you feel comfortable. Plenty of kelp and marine life can be explored when diving Seafan Grotto. Now we got some soup for the divers and when they come up they get pretty cold so give a little tomato soup to warm them up. Uh, we also got some hors d'oeuvres and then we got some chicken fajitas for lunch which have uh, beans, peppers and uh, some roasted chicken that I'm going to put in there later on topped with avocado, onions and all the fixings. My last dive I saw a moray eel, a lobster, a lot of them and a lot of uh, Garibaldi's. My first dive, uh, Catalina, I really liked it. It was kind of cool, saw some cool fish, and I don't know, ready to go out to the next next dive. I think the coolest thing was a little uh, blue and, and uh, red fish that hang around the sea, and then that was neat. We got, and we just bought a light, so we were able to zoom in there and see the fish, it's cool. My son and I, Daniel, and we've had a great dive over at, uh, the grotto and uh, thanks to Dive and Photo for inviting us and uh, taking us on this trip. After a great first dive and a full tummy, Captain Jerry Lewis briefs everybody for a second dive. If you go straight off in this direction, you'll end up in about 80, 90 feet of water with jumble boulders going all the way down to the sand. Um, same on that side and same back over here on this side. So if you want shallow, stay on the plateau. If you want to get a little bit deeper, venture out to the outsides. No current, you can see the kelp straight up and down. If you guys will do me a huge favor, we're on one anchor, we're on one anchor here, so the boat's gonna swing around, okay? You can see all the kelp is up, and we're sitting right in the middle of it. When you guys make your giant stride and you get into the water, do me a big favor. Keep your mask on your face, keep your regulator in your mouth. Bird Rock is known for its sheer deep wall drop-off with an abundance of marine life and really cool crevices and cracks to explore.
the rock face can drop down from 5 feet down to 80 feet. Visibility can be good here, anywhere from 30 to 80 feet due to the calm seas. And today we're profiling the Bear 2012 Elastec. And to show us this wetsuit is Seamus Callahan from Bear. All right, thank you, Bob. What we've tried to do here is combine performance, also comfort, and durability plus thermal protection here. So sometimes the high performance suits that you sacrifice the other features. We're utilizing a 250% stretch neoprene but a neoprene that has excellent compression resistance and a good memory. So dive after dive, you're returning back to your seven millimeter suit, not the case with cheaper neoprenes. Combined with that, we use seam tech technology as well as a, a glued and stitched underneath. We have the reinforcement of the seam and no water penetration obviously through the seams. Um, that's throughout the suit. On the elbow pads, we have a protect material, and that is also over the shoulders where it stops abrasion from the BC. Elbow pads, and, and also on the knees yeah. there. Um, for added comfort, the stretch obviously being a huge part of the comfort of the suit, but we also put the compression between, behind the knees and also behind the elbows of the suit so you can bend easily without rubbing the inside of both uh, raw there. And we round it off with a nice feature, a kind of a sandwich seal system on our 7 mil suit. Uh, elastic boots and gloves are designed to fit inside this so there's no nice. water mm -hmm. penetration yeah. in the ankles, the wrists, and then also with the neck seal, we have a neck seal that has good stretch, and a skin seal that is also designed to fit with our hooded vest exterior, which is also a skin feature. And it rounds off to be a very high performance, very comfortable, but also a, a very uh, excellent thermal protection. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely, well thank you. And as you know, diving here in California, the better the wetsuit, the more enjoyable the dive. That's it for this edition of Dive Talk. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. We've now come to our final dive spot at Isthmus Reef, a popular dive site close to Bird Rock, known for its shallow reef and steep walls loaded with lobster and marine life. Isthmus Reef can be a real exciting dive. Lots of cool stuff to see here. Yeah, well, today it was a great day of diving. Hopefully all the people enjoyed. Uh, we had better conditions than we, uh, we hoped for. We saw some unique stuff we've never seen before. The link up with the eggs, and it was just awesome. Good interaction with the octopus. Uh, we couldn't pray for a better one. Well, we're on our way home. I think everybody had a good time today. We uh, hit three different dive spots. We went to Seapan Grotto, and uh, most people, I guess, got to see the grotto. And our second dive spot was Bird Rock, and that was our best visibility of the day. We saw uh, horn sharks, we saw skull sharks, and we saw ling cod, ling cod eggs. Uh, that was, uh, Pretty cool sight to see. And then our last dive was Isthmus Reef. And uh, visibility was a little bit lower, but not too bad. And no current. And that kind of wrapped up our day. I think we all had a good one. <laughs>